Welcome back Hot Wheels family. Today on Kingdom Hot Wheels we're going to be reviewing the Power Booster Kit from Hot Wheels. I'm super excited about this one because it has not just one but two boosters and any Hot Wheels racing fan knows you can never have enough boosters. We have some loops, we have some of these tower pieces. These white tower pieces come in very handy, um, giving you a little bit of a gravity push on your cars. You don't have to tape your cars and tracks to the couch, although we recommend that as well. It comes with four separate options or races or builds. We're going to be doing all four and most likely a lot more because that's what we like to do here at Kingdom Hot Wheels. We have all of our pieces over here. It's part of the track builder system. You can connect it to your other systems. Comes with this nice car here and it's rated five plus because it has some cords and some batteries. So All right, so the first one's gonna be with the stacked boosters. This is looking like an awesome configuration. Some loops and some jumps. Down here you have a head-to-head -head boosted race. Never a bad idea. Some corkscrews. And then I like this one right here too. It's a boost your cars until they crash set. All right guys, what's our first build? Stack booster. Are you guys up for the stack booster challenge? Yeah. yeah. The stack booster challenge starts high on the tower, goes through the two boosters right here, around the loops, up and down, down the tracks to the two blue jumps. Should be a great one. Double crash. Cars, bud. Oh, ho, ho. all right, I'm ready when you are, bud. Yes. To our second build, the crisscross challenge. All four of these builds, like most Hot Wheel tracks, are pretty easy to put together. You're just lining them up, putting together the blue pieces and the cords, wiggling it till it works. It takes four diesel batteries for these two boosters, so make sure you get that ahead of time. All right, what's this one called? You like the crashing bass challenge? Yeah. I think it's called the crisscross challenge. Yeah, the cars come this way, go over this track here, that, yeah, exactly, like that. All right, let's watch them, let's get it going. Helpful hint for all of you Hot Wheels racers and parents, Hot Wheels follow the laws of physics so you're going to have to work on getting your track kind of nice and even and lining it up. If you're having problems going around the curves of the jumps, just wiggle a little bit, give it some support and you'll probably nail it. Yeah, let's see how long he goes. Oh, show him to me. His name is Formula Flashback. <laughs> Here we go. The tracks look like Mickey Mouse ears wiggling. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> That's just really a cool track. I think uh, let's go get something to eat and come back and see if it's still going. Is it time for lunch? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> oh, it crashed! Lunch time's over. Jackson, so what's this one called? The head to head challenge. The head to head challenge. Okay, build number three is the head-to-head -head challenge. You have two separate lanes, starting high in the tower, through the booster, through the loop, and then off the jump at the end. They're facing in opposite directions, so you can have two people launch them at the same time for head-to-head -head action. One, two, three. I think you went on one and a half, Jackson. It wasn't even two yet. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. It's just kind of cool, but it's a little bit hard to launch it at the same time. I have an idea. Let's mix it up. 
Time for what? Time to boost Yeah, let's turn it on. We're gonna put our head to head right next to each other and really see what we have going on. All right, here we go. Ready, go. Oh, okay, it's tournament time. We're gonna roll with five sets of two, a total of 10 instead of 12, and see how we do. So Jackson, let's do it. Let's do the clear speeder versus drift stuff. All right, lock and load. Ready, set, go. Oh, that was definitely clear speeder. Fair Lady versus Zion. Ready, go. Zion. Oh, the Zion. Okay. Lamborghini Gallardo versus yep. the BMW. All right, here we go. Oh, the Beamer smoked the Lamborghini. It does happen. Formula Flashback versus the wrench car. Oh, crash and burn. Clear the track. Thank you, Sawyer. Okay, last initial one. Ready, go. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna okay, go. we had an odd number of five, and because it was too close to call between the gold retroactive and the sweet voltage spike, they're both going to make it to the next round. So we have three heats of two. Pick your first two. Oh, oh, a rematch. Nice. Here we go. Oh, definitely Voltus spike that time. Ready, go. Oh, he crashed and burned. Zion definitely wins. And a clear speeder. BMW crashes to see who goes against Voltus spike. Oh, the clear speeder destroys him. The matchup that was destined to be the clear speeder box out of the car versus Voltus spike. Ready, go. Ready, go. Oh, the clear speeder destroys him in speed and distance. The champion again. Field number four is the corkscrew. You have both boosters side by side sending your cars up the ramp through a corkscrew maneuver and down the other side head to head to a jumping finish. Looks pretty cool. Okay, let's launch them, see how they do. Good choices. Oh, they both crashed. Oh, okay, and now we give them more height. Give it a shot. Excellent. Fair Lady wins that match. Retroactive versus Clear Speeder. Ready, go. Oh, Clear Speeder undefeated. <laughs> we have a two versus the BMW. Two Whoa, they came right at me. That was cool. <laughs> they hit me in the knuckles. Oh, I thought I was far enough back. The clear speeder still smacked me. Well, Hot Wheels family, we hope you enjoyed this review. Click here to see our recent review of the awesome Stunt Bridge Kit or here to see a playlist of our on-location tournaments. And if you're new to Kingdom Hot Wheels, click here to subscribe, get out there, and race on.